It's time for some chaos again here on MTG Unpacked. We have a double dose of chaos with two MTG Unpacked Chaos Mystery Boxes. And with me to do the pack blessings, we have Gideon hopefully going to get us the crazy pulls we're looking for. So let's introduce the patrons today. We have Marlana McCown and Dylan Moore. And actually for Dylan, we're going to do another snap pack for him. So stay tuned towards the end of the video and check it out. All right, so let's get stuck into it here. We're going to roll one through three or four through six to see what Marlana gets. We get a four. So that'll be this one. And then Dylan will get the other one. All right, let's get stuck into it. Thank you for being a patron, Marlana. And we'll see what tasty packs we have today. So a Modern Horizons, Battle for Zendikar, two of those actually. Oh, an Elspeth foil, we'll take a look at that in a moment. 2012 Corset, Theros and War of the Spark. So this is how we do the pack blessings. Let's arrange things like so. And take a look at the foil and instantly this is my vision for how a Chaos Mystery Box should be. So put these together for patrons at one of the higher level tiers. Okay, so we have Elspeth Sons Champion. Planeswalker Elspeth for loyalty for 6. Her plus 1 put 3 plus 1 1 white soldier creature tokens onto the battlefield. Her minus 3 destroy all creatures with power 4 or greater and minus 7 you get an emblem with creatures you control get plus 2 plus 2 and have flying. So some nice foiling on that one. Alright, let's get stuck into it. And if you too would like to become a patron like these fine patrons here, I'll leave a link to the MTG Unpack Patreon in the description for this video. There's still a bunch of spots open for the Chaos Jackalope tier next month, so if you're interested in that, you might want to hurry up, check it out. Let's get started. We have Dispel, Reckless Cohort, Inspired Charge, Ruin Processor. Here's one of those fun Eldrazi creatures. Skyline Cascade, Eyeless Watcher, Rush of Ice, Silent Skimmer, Mortuary Mire, and Uncommon's Forerunner of Slaughter. What on earth? Holy cow. Retreat to Valakat. What do you think of the Eldrazi? More Eldrazi than you can shake a stick at in this set. Cryptic Cruiser. And rare is Wasteland Strangler. Creature Eldrazi Processor 3 2 for 3. So it's Devoid. This card has no color. And when it enters Battlefield, you may put a card an opponent owns from exile into that player's graveyard. If you do target creature, gets minus 3 minus 3 until end of turn. And a nice foil, Snapping Gnarlid. And an Island, and an Eldrazi Scion token. No crazy expedition land there, alas. War of the Spark up next. Going Planeswalker hunting. Okay, we have the Goblin Assault Team. Pouncing Lynx, Sky Theater Strix, Force Landing, Soren's Thirst, Avon Eternal. Sarkhan's Catharsis, Bloom Hulk, Sahili's Silverwing, Obnixilus's Cruelty, and Uncommon's Augur of Bolus, Neoform, Vraska Swarm's Eminence. So a nice Planeswalker for you. And rare is Ignite the Beacon, instant for five. Search your library for up to two Planeswalker cards, reveal them, put them into your hand, and shuffle your library. And a Swamp and a Zombie Army. Okay, onward to Theros. Looking for god cards in this one. We have Stymied Hopes, Ill-Tempered Cyclops, Sedge Scorpion, Scholar of Athreos, Spark Jolt, Last Breath, Scourge Mark, Griptide, Satyr Hedonist, Satyr Rambler, Uncommons Perforos's Emissary, Ordeal of Nylea, Thassa's Emissary, and rare is Anthusa Satessan Hero. Legendary creature, human warrior, 4 5 for 5 with heroic. Whenever you cast a spell that targets Anthusa Satessan Hero, up to 3 target lands you control each become 2 2 warrior creatures until end of turn. There are still lands, and how would you pronounce that? Leave a note in the comments. And a mountain, 
And a bit of an ad here. What is this for? Creatures with Heroic. Okay. Moving right along. Corset 2012. These packs that are getting harder and harder to open as the set ages. Just about need a pair of scissors for this one. Okay, we have a Blood Ogre, Angel's Mercy, Gurrick's Companion, Coral Merfolk, Glade Cover Scout, Merfolk Mesmerist, Goblin Piker, Divine Favor, Reclaim, Uncommons, The Classic, Singer Vampire, Scepter of Empires, Crumbling Colossus, and the rare is Druidic Satchel. That's interesting, I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Artifact for three. Pay two and tap, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, put a 1-1 one, one green sapling creature token onto the battlefield. If it's a land card, put that card onto the battlefield under your control. If it's a non-creature, non-land card, you gain two life. And an ad here for Jewels of the Planeswalkers 2012 with a forest and a stampeding rhino foil. That snuck in at the end there. Okay, back to BFZ. Still hunting for expeditions here. We've found a ton of Eldrazi, but no expeditions yet. Next we have Call the Scions, Merp Strider, Voracious Null, Orin Reef Invoker, Cliffside Lookout, Goblin Warpaint, Lifespring Druid, Valakat Invoker, Ondu Great Horn, Dominator Drone, Uncommons Unified Front, Ulamog's Despoiler, Molten Nursery, and rare is Scatter to the Winds. Instant for three, counter target spell has awakened three. So for four and two blue, if you cast a spell for that, also put three plus one plus one counters on target land you control, and it becomes a zero zero elemental creature with haste, it's still a land. And a full art swamp and an old Drazi Scion token. Wrapping things up here with Modern Horizons. Okay, we have a zombie. Get him in focus there. Fun little art card. I've been putting these in for patrons as well. Snow covered swamp. A foil ice hide golem. Nice. Look at that. And rare is crashing footfalls. Sorcery has suspend four and a green. Rather than cast this card from your hand, pay a green and exit with four time counters on it. Beginning of your upkeep, remove a time counter when the last is removed, cast it without paying its mana cost. So I wondered why there was no cost in the corner there, thought it was a bit of a misprint. Create two 4-4 four, four green rhino creature tokens with trample. And Uncommon's Blizzard Strix, King of the Pride, Crypt Rats, nice. Crosan Tusker, Iceberg Cancrix Mob, Arkham's Astrolabe, and this one is creeping up in price now, over a buck, so I'll put that in. Ninja of the New Moon, Bellowing Elk, Phantom Ninja, Goblin War Party, and Answered Prayers. Alright, so there we are, Malana. Thank you for being a patron once again. Enjoy the pools this month. And then we'll move on to Dylan. Okay, and don't forget Dylan. I've got a snack pack for you at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Okay, last Chaos Pack for August 2019. We have Modern Horizons BFZ 2012 Corset, another Elspeth. I was wondering where those were. Those seem to be towards the end. Armanket, Theros, and War of the Spark. So we'll do the pack blessing like so. And this time we're gonna do things like that. Okay, let's take a look at the Elspeth for Dylan. So this is Elspeth Knight Errant, Planeswalker Elspeth, 4 loyalty, fur, 4 mana. Her plus 1 put a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token onto the battlefield. Her other plus 1 target creature gets plus 3, plus 3 and gains flying until end of turn. Minus 8, you get an emblem with artifacts, creatures, enchantments and lands you control are indestructible. Alright, some nice foiling on that one. Okay, next, War of the Spark. So let's dig in. 
We have Kiora's Dam Breaker, Chain Whip Cyclops, Tide Bearer Giant, Bloom Hulk, Charm Stray, Avon Eternal, Whoa, craziness, slow down, Burning Prophet of Nexus's Cruelty, Jaya's Greeting, hello there, sir, Paradise Druid, Liliana's Triumph, Angrath's Rampage, and you know what that means, Rare or Mythic Planeswalker, it is Soren Vengeful Bloodlord, fantastic. Legendary Planeswalker Soren, four loyalty for four. As long as it's your turn, creatures and planeswalkers you control have lifelink is plus two. There's one damage to target player or planeswalker minus X. Return target creature card with command mana cost X from your graveyard to the battlefield. That creature is a vampire in addition to its other types. All right, and a foil Leyline Prowler with a swamp. And a goblin token, and I'm going to chuck in a goblin there as well. Everybody needs a goblin these days. Okay, next, Theros. And a delightful card here to get started with a Nessian Asp. Bronze Sable, Afara's Warden, Sip of Hemlock, Cavern Lampad, Boulderfall, Two-Headed Cerberus, Time to Feed, Asphodel Wanderer, Whoa! Breaching Hippocamp! There we are, got a peek of that one. Burnished Heart, so that's pretty good. I'll set that aside, that's worth more than a buck. A Cruin Hoplite. Cutthroat Maneuver. And the rare is Labyrinth Champion. Creature Human Warrior 2 2 for 4. Has Heroic. One of you cast a spell that targets Labyrinth Champion. It deals 2 damage to target creature or player. And a Forest and a Soldier Token. That's pretty cool as well. I'll chuck that in. Okay, BFZ up next. Okay, we have Royal Mage's Trick, Dutiful Return, Swell of Growth, Dispel, Lava Step Raider, Creature Goblin Warrior, Fortified Rampart, Touch of the Void, Sheer Drop, Kozilex Channeler, McKindy Slide Runner, and Uncommon's Fire Mantle Mage, Zulaport Cutthroat, that was a good one back in the day. Hedron Archive, and I think that was over back, I could be mistaken, but I'll put it in anyway. And a Mythic, nice! Omnath Locus of Rage, Legendary Creature Elemental 5-5. Five, five. For 7 mana has landfall, whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, put a 5-5 five, five red and green Elemental Creature token onto the battlefield. And whenever Omnath, Locust Rage, or another elemental you control dies, he deals three damage to target, creature, or player. Incidentally, we've got a new series, uh, Commander Snacks. And this guy was featured in one episode. I'll pop a link up in the corner. You can check it out. Very cool pool there. And a Full Art Mountain and an Eldrazi Scion token. Okay, onward to 2012 Core Set. Let's see if I can open this any better this time. No, still... Tough. Okay, we have a giant spider, Stormfront Pegasus, Soren's Thirst, Mighty Leap, Distress, Griffin Rider, Goblin Fire Slinger, Titanic Growth, Blood Rage Vampire, Armored Warhorse, Uncommon's Reassembling Skeleton, Worm's Tooth. Elixir of Immortality, and the rare is Doubling Chant. Sorcery for six for each creature you control. You may search your library for a creature card with the same name as that creature. Put those cards onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. And a little helpful tip card about rarities and a planes. On to Armanket. Still looking for invocations, people. One of these days we might find one. That would be fantastic. We have an Ancient Crab, Minotaur Sure Shot, Anointer Priest, Tarkrop Skirmisher, Doomed Dissenter, Initiate's Companion, Sunscorch Desert, Naga Vitalist, Pursue Glory, Unwavering Initiate, and Uncommon's Barmer's Tools, Enigma Drake, Weaver of Currents, and rare is Harvest Season, Sorcery for three, so that you'll for up to X basic land cards where X is the number of tapped creatures you control and put those cards onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. And a full art swamp and an anointer priest token. Okay, and incidentally Armand Kett was where I first got started playing magic. 
What was the set that got you started or brought you back? Leave a note in the comments. Okay, we have a cool elemental token. I'll put that in. Nice art card here. Snow covered mountain. And the rare is Force of Virtue. Enchantment for four. If it's not your turn, you may exile a white card from your hand rather than pay the spell's mana cost as flash and creatures you control get plus one, plus one. All right, and Uncommon's Goblin Oriflan, Smiting Helix, Twisting or Twisted Reflection, and Commons Return from Extension, Crosan Tusker, Iceberg Cancrix, Mob, Arkham's Astrolabe, put that in as well, Ransack the Lab, Frost Dweller, Chiller Pillar, Quakefoot Cyclops, Trustworthy Scout, and that is it for Modern Horizons. Okay, and then we will get the snack pack ready momentarily. So thank you for being a patron, Dylan. Hopefully we can get you some nice goodness from the snack pack as well. So you know the drill, people. We have five commons here. And this is something I typically do in a big video each month for the patrons. If you're at a higher end tier. And five uncommons, then we get a foil and a rare or mythic. Okay, let's see what we have today. Starting off with Act of Treason. Blade Back Sliver, very cool. Negate. And that's some promo artwork, very cool there. Sigil of Sleep, I think that is from Urza's Block. Unsummon. Cunning Evasion, moving on to the Uncommons, Console's Lieutenant, Sunhome Guild Mage, Nantuko Cultivator, Insect Druid, that's pretty crazy, Murder of Crows, and a Foil, Necrotic Wound, and your rare is Krenko, here he is, Tin Street Kingpin, Legendary Creature Goblin 1, 2 for 3, Whenever Krenko, Tin Street, Kingpin attacks, put a plus one, plus one, counter on it. Then create a number of one, one red goblin creature tokens equal to Quen Quenko. Quenko's power! I don't know what happened there. Bit of a quirk in the matrix. All right, there we are, Dylan. Thank you for being a patron. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And stay tuned, next month the Chaos Packs are back. Looking forward to that. Thanks for watching and have a great day.